study music theory. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, I have been. I have been on my, you know, I've created my own music theory. But yeah. you, you're saying the philosophy point, you know, as far as keyboardists and music. Um, I mean, it changes from artist to artist. Um, there are, there are um, people that are just chords people, you know. Right. Players. There are people that will play more lead stuff, um, which I don't. But it's it just depends on the, on the person themselves. True. Know? So I mean, in essence, though, because uh, to add on to the theory, each frequency because music is frequency, right? It's sound, and yeah. each individual artist or musician is its own frequency. And once you can tune the, to to the infinite, if you will, yeah. in theory, yeah. um, then you can channel and play whatever. It's true, but a lot of a lot of that comes from. Um, lots of practice, Absolutely. lots of study, Absolutely. Lots, of Discipline. Em, lots of uh, emulating other people um, and taking mm. other things from what other people are doing. See, that's a lesson I need to learn because I have a whole tarnished so, view on emulation. So that's where, you know, learning Beatles tunes and learning right. rock like, tunes and learning, you know, ELO tunes and learning all these Bruce different Lee moves. things. Yeah. Learning all these different things, and then you take pieces and parts from all of them, and you kind of make your own voice from Absolutely. it. It doesn't just come from the ethers, as much as I'd like to believe that. So it doesn't come from the ether. Yeah, I agree with that because there's a sense of reality, but it's definitely a vibration and a spirit. Because oh, no, no. in the in the invisible world of music, the yeah. muses, it's all from nothing. Right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That's I appreciate awesome. the conversation.